Yeah, overall, not bad down at fifth third as the Mud Hens are looking to take the series from Columbus. Tied going into the fifth, and they've got a little bit of work to do to get out of this one because the Clippers, they open it wide open. Outfielder Connor Marble goes yard. The long ball to right, and the Clippers are out to a 4-1 to lead. Seventh inning, bases juiced, full count, two outs, and Adderline Rodriguez. A grand slam blasts this one out to Monroe Street, and the Mud Hens are back on top 7-5. There's more where that came from, though. Still in the seventh, infielder Daniel Perino, a three-run shot to left. The Mud Hens, they respond by putting up nine runs in the inning. 10-5 Toledo as we head to the eighth. This time at the dish, it's infielder Isak Paredes. Why not? Third bomb by the Mud Hens. Toledo bats explode for the 12-5 win over Columbus. All right, thanks out here at Fifth Third Field where a lot of folks today are leaving the ballpark going, did we just watch two different games today? They're going like this. <laughs> are you kidding? This game Ooh. was a tale of two games that we had the first six innings, total different game than the end of the game. Let's start with the first six, Jim. The pitchers controlled it. How about the outing today? Nine strikeouts from your starting pitcher. Tom Prince had to be happy with that. Yeah, Hutchinson was really strong. He struck out two in each of the first four innings, got one in the fifth, and just did a great job. It was his best start. Yeah, it certainly was. This game moved on into the later innings. We got to the seventh, and ball game number two seemed to happen at that point because we got a whole mess of things that happened in that seventh inning. First, the Clippers, big rally, then the Hens, big rally. You know, and the Clippers get five and, uh, or four, and they lead five to one. You're thinking, well, it's been a pretty good series. And then, all of a sudden, who would have thought you'd get nine runs in the bottom half? Uh, there were some key home runs. I guess we'll go over some of those. Or you can say we'll see you tomorrow, but we're not home now for a while. So I guess those highlights will be gone. But just a tremendous. And then two more runs in the eighth inning to wind up with a 12-5 to win. Yeah, and the highest run output of the year. Who would have thought that when we went to the seventh inning? Didn't think that was going to happen. But how about the comeback? You you, you give up four runs in the top half of an inning. It looks like, oh, man, we've only got three shots left. Everything looks good, like it's going to go Columbus's way. The series is going to split. But then you get the two walks to start it. Zach Short, Daniel Panero each walked, and then all of a sudden that opened up the floodgates a little bit. And you know what, what I've seen happen before? You bring in a guy, Bo Burles, gives up four runs. Looks like he's going to lose. He winds up the winner because he was the last pitcher before the big rally. Burles gets the win despite giving up four runs in the Mud End's 12 to five win. Yeah, he'll probably be laughing a little bit about that one. I yeah. uh, get a win that's, hey, you know, thanks guys yeah. for getting me a win, that's <laughs> for sure. But the Hens finish this homestand on a high note. They win their first series of the season, four games to two over Columbus, as they head out on the road for a two week road trip. Uh, they heart out on a great high note for sure with a win today.